I started working about 33 years back, 33 years ago. And uh, I stayed in a single room house. Uh, I don't know whether some of you can relate to that. Um, unfortunately, the job was closed, so I moved on. I got a job in Bakere and I got a flat. In that flat where I was staying, I had a flash door uh, you know, to my main entrance. And I had no problem, I slept very well. <laughs> when I became a principal of MOOPs, they gave me a house with a gate. And uh, there is a security man with the entrance. Um, recently, I had some challenges, and I was given policemen to keep the house. Uh, when I go to Nairobi, the walls are a little higher than those <laughs> in Sambala. And there is some electrical wire on top. When you go to South Africa, they are much higher. <laughs> What are we protecting ourselves from thieves, I guess? There is a relationship between poverty and theft. I would done a study in slums in Kampala, and we found a very interesting uh, case. Uh, the people in the slums are very happy, very, very happy with their lives, but they are poor. But what are the problems there? drug abuse, alcoholism, there is also theft. At times there is armed theft. And uh, there are also challenges of uh, teenage pregnancies. And the challenge of teenage pregnancy is not only in the slum, it's in the whole country. What are these girls giving birth to? They are delivering poverty. Because a girl who is 14 years old has a, most likely the boyfriend is 15, 16, and they have no jobs. So what are they delivering? Delivering poverty. They're increasing the levels of poverty uh, uh, into the country. So when you have, when there are challenges in these slum areas, what happens? Social unrest. And what is the problem? Poverty. And what is the response to that? Entrepreneurship. Unfortunately, what is happening is that the donors are coming around and going to slums and giving people money. That's a big problem. We're not going to get out of poverty through donations. We are going to get out of poverty through entrepreneurship. And indeed, there is also a lot of entrepreneurship in these areas. Uganda is one of the most important countries in the world. 30% of the people are starting, have started and started business. Uh, the developed countries, the level is about 7%. Uh, so they are not as entrepreneurial as poor countries uh, for reasons of what they call necessity and entrepreneurship. Uh, so you need entrepreneurship in these areas. You don't need donors. So what is happening to Africa? Mr. Sharaji, I don't agree with you. Maybe, maybe, yes. We are saying the time of Africa is now. I don't believe Africa will go through it. I don't think so. Until when the developed countries give Africa the ability to trade with them. If we cannot get value out of the coffee that we produce, Forget development in these African countries. We shall continue to get aid. Look at the exports of coffee in Germany. Eight billion dollars. Germany has never produced coffee. Uganda earns 400 million dollars out of coffee exports. This is the problem that we have. We cannot get out of that point until when the issues of trade and business among countries are sorted out. So, all of us who are here are uh, cosplay. Wherever we are staying, we have some kind of security of some sort because we are protecting ourselves from poor people. <coughs> we don't want the poor people to come to us. These poor people, absence of income is poverty. 
you need to give them incomes to get out of poverty. You need to give them incomes by enabling them to start businesses. But the quality of business startup in Africa is very, very poor. As a result, Africa cannot emerge out of poverty as long as the quality of entrepreneurship in these countries, despite its high rate, is still poor. So we need to look around for investments. 25 years back, I was one of the people pre uh, recommending his excellent the president of Uganda to disband to the public enterprises. When public enterprises were established in the 50s and 60s, it was because there was lack of entrepreneurship in Africa and there was lack of capital in Africa. As an ideologue who believed in capitalism, I believed government cannot do business, not even poorly. So we said dismantle the public enterprises and we did. And I guess, uh, Mr. Chatterjee, I'm a graduate of the University of Delhi, and uh, I studied the Indian economy so, so well. So, so well. In the 70s, India banned Coca Cola from, 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 from India, and uh, there was a product comes up. Very good product. <coughs> After some years, Coca Cola comes back, and Coca Cola makes its. <coughs> and what does Coca Cola sell? Sugar and water. That's what they sell. And we can't sell sugar and water in this country. We can't. As long as we are not able to sell that sugar and water to ourselves, we cannot get out of poverty. We shall continue to have conflict because we fear these poor people coming into our houses. So we put on a, a bigger wall and an electric fence. And uh, because of my personal security condition, I'm also adding some cameras. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess many of us have these things in our homes. Why? We're trying to prevent poor people from coming into studio. So peace cannot be guaranteed unless if the people in these countries are able to get incomes. The transformation of these countries to a certain level where people are no longer talking about not what to eat or where to sleep. Like the whole countries are, they are, they are not very well off themselves, by the way, when you go to the poor people, but at least the basics are there. So we cannot achieve peace without entrepreneurship. And that entrepreneurship should evolve around trade that is free, should evolve around competition that has a level playing ground. Unfortunately, Africa does not have that. And if Africa does not have that, guess who carries around beer in this country? DHL. Do you ever know DHL to be carrying around beer? Their chairs are supposed to carry around beer. But they carry around beer this time. So when will I ever own a company that carries around beer? I cannot compete with DHL. There is no way I can do that. So the level playing ground of entrepreneurship will increase the quality <coughs> of enterprise in our countries. It will bring more incomes. It is going to bring peace. Without entrepreneurship and a level playing ground, I'm afraid, friends, shall have conflict. Thank you very much.